Enjoy the story. Please like and subscribe. The Portella della Ginestra massacre sent shockwaves throughout Italy, and the events leading up to it only added to the confusion and controversy. The leftist victory in Sicily had set the stage for a potential shift in Italian politics towards communism, and Salvatore Giuliano, a bandit and separatist leader, saw this as a threat to his own power. Giuliano had been seen by some as a Robin Hood figure, stealing from the wealthy to help the poor. But his actions on May Day 1947 changed everything. As hundreds of peasants gathered for the traditional Labor Day parade, Giuliano and his men opened fire on the crowd, killing 11 people, including four children. The massacre was seen by many as a political act, designed to punish the left for their recent victory in the elections. But Giuliano claimed that he had only intended to fire above the heads of the crowd, and that the deaths had been a mistake. The aftermath of the massacre was chaotic. The Italian General Confederation of Labor called for a general strike, and there were hints of the possibility of civil war. The Minister of the Interior claimed that the shooting was non-political and blamed bandits who infested the valley. But the left accused the Mafia, the large landowners, monarchists, and the rightist Common Man's Front of being involved in the attack. The debate in Parliament ended in a fistfight between the left and the right, as nearly 200 deputies took part in a brawl. The confusion and controversy surrounding the massacre only added to the tension in Italy at a time when the country was facing a potential shift in political power. Salvatore Giuliano remained at large for several years after the massacre, and his actions on May Day 1947 continued to be a source of controversy and debate. But the memory of those who lost their lives at Portella della Ginestra remained, a reminder of the violence and chaos that can arise in times of political upheaval. Despite the government's official position that the massacre was a non-political act committed by bandits, there were widespread suspicions that the attack was politically motivated. The leftist parties accused the right-wing and the mafia of being behind the attack, while the right-wing parties and the church accused the left-wing of stirring up violence and promoting communist ideas. The government launched an intensive manhunt for Salvatore Giuliano, offering a substantial reward for his capture. Giuliano, who was in hiding in the mountains, sent a letter to a newspaper in which he claimed responsibility for the attack but denied any political motive. He stated that his gang had intended to fire warning shots over the heads of the crowd but that a sudden movement had caused them to hit the people. The authorities continued to pursue Giuliano, and his gang was gradually weakened by arrests and defections. Finally, on July 5, 1950, Giuliano was shot dead by police while he was sleeping in a farmhouse in Castelvetrano. The Portella della Ginestra massacre remains a controversial and tragic event in the history of modern Italian politics. While the attack was clearly aimed at the left-wing supporters who had won the recent elections, the true motives of Salvatore Giuliano and his gang remain a matter of speculation. Some historians believe that Giuliano may have been acting on behalf of the Mafia, while others argue that he was a bandit seeking revenge against those who had betrayed him. Whatever the true motives behind the massacre, it had a profound impact on Italian politics, strengthening the hand of the Christian Democrat Party and the conservative forces in the country. It also highlighted the deep divisions that existed within Italian society and the violent means to which some groups were willing to resort to achieve their political goals. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.